Hello and blessings beautiful souls, Avalon here and I have another Witch's Moon unboxing for you. So I've just unboxed the Witch's Bounty and I will most likely be uploading these on exactly the same day simply because I'm late on them and oh, I'm just so, always so impressed. Oh, I just can't tell you how beautiful I find these boxes and just the experience of opening them up while I'm sitting here in sacred space. It just makes me want to get my witch on, if that makes sense. Whenever I'm here in my witch's cottage, I just feel so magical. And bringing these beautiful boxes into my sacred space is just such an experience. I'm going to spritz. I feel like spritzing. I feel like spritzing with one of their sprays. What have we got over here? And that's Yule. Oh, maybe I'll use Ayan. Oh, that's this beautiful Ayan spray from the Another Witch's Moon box many moons ago, actually. So here we have it. I do believe this is the box for September, although it could be the box for October. I'm not quite sure. No, it's for September. I'm, I'm quite certain of it. Yeah, for September. And so we have this beautiful box. And I've got to say, folks, if you have never, ever experienced unboxing a witch's moon for yourself, I highly recommend you get this for yourself as a gift, at least once in your year, just to have the experience of unlocking, opening up such a beautifully curated subscription box. There is... There is something so unbelievably, brilliantly beautiful and magical about these boxes. They're not, they're not tacky. They don't have tacky items in them. They, they just, they're beautifully made. And you can see that they're made with so much love and attention to detail. And that the creators behind this box really want to give you the absolute best. I like to call the Witch's Moon the Chanel of witch subscription boxes. And I've got to say, they are right up there with me. So let me just move my <laughs> my Freya oil that I'm so secretly obsessed with it came in the last Witch's Moon. Oh, look at my altar. <laughs> I've got my Witch's Moon chalice. These boxes are actually quite a lot bigger. And so I might have to do this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that one. Okay, so let us have a look. <gasps> So we have, this is Josephine Wall art, you can tell that straight away. So what do we have here? Love endures, does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Josephine Wall, hats off to this beautiful artist. Look at that. Just, just look, just drink it at the image and just see the thousands of unique details that exist in her artwork. She is a master of her craft, might I say, a master of her craft. So let's have a look at what the letter has to say. Celestial Wisdom. There we have it, Celestial Wisdom. So may I read to you? I hope you said yes. For the person that nodded said, no thanks, oh, we can just skip that part. You may fast forward. <laughs> Impossible to disregard, the cosmos have played a determining role in the patterns presented on our path. How easy it is to forget that we, too, are made of cosmic stardust, harnessing within us a limitless potential to learn, grow and achieve. Although we are the ultimate key holders to the grand door of destiny, the universal stars are there to guide us through. In this very special collection, we have curated and sourced the tools necessary to connect to the stars and the ever-changing messages that are available to us. Join us this month of September. It is the September one. See, I was right. As we connect and become one with celestial wisdom, it is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. 
We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. This is absolutely true, by the way, they do. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. Okay, so we have astrological oracle cards with pouch. I'm sorry, what? This beautiful 22 card art nouveau. Oh my God, it's a whole oracle deck. Is it? 22, yeah, I think it's a whole oracle. I'm so excited, I can't talk. I think it's a whole oracle deck. Shooting star specimen. I'm sorry, what? I'm in a state of disbelief. We have been working to source these shooting stars for many moons. These specific meteorites are known as Campo del Cielo, Iron Meteorite. Shooting star fell from the sky 4,700 years ago, about 1,000 kilometers north northwest of Buenos Aires, Argentina. This meteorite is now a protected specimen and can only be harvested with special permission from the government. Holy doolies! Didn't I tell you they were pretty epic? The Zodiac Celestial Artwork Chart, fabulous. Oh, I'm loving it. So what does this have? Uh, this beautiful Zodiac Celestial Sky Chart are created by Adrian Alden, specifically for the Witch's Moon. This specific print will not be offered on our online store and is exclusive to this collection. This beautiful created chart provides information for each zodiac sign, including motto, date, planet, uh, quadruplicity, traits, and stone. Include this artwork in your book. I will! Oh. Zodiac Enhanced Sigil. I am so loving Sigil. I've actually got potentially on this um, table right now with me anywhere in the vicinity of 30 sigils yes uh, i'm shoaling by the way if you would like to know what that means go and see gordon white he will tell you uh we have zodiac enchantment. yep okay elder's guide enchantment spell candle i cannot wait to see that i love their candles and i'm burning one right here I'm burning one right here because I love it so much. Starry Wisdom Magical Anointing Oil. Holy doolies, I love the way that that sounds. And I just got an image in my head. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Luna Goddess Sacred Salt, right on. Smoky Quartz, yes. Spirit of Knowledge Incense, yes. The Astral Dance Sacred Smoke Blend. I cannot wait to see and smell that. Herba John, Herba John or St. John's Wort. Okay. Uh, compass weed, personalized oracle reading, parchment paper, and Mabon Book of Shadows artwork. Parchment paper right there, and in a lovely tone of a like a grey blue. So let's put this off to the side. We've already had a look at the oracle card, so let's go on ahead and have a look at this sigil. Oh, I love it. I love it. There we go. Look at that bad boy. It's kind of like a fairy star almost. It's beautiful. So we've got a few astrological signs here. Yeah. Planetary, actually. Planetary and elemental. Fabulous. Will be... Oh, I can't wait to put that somewhere on my altar. I'm feeling it right now. And I'm also... Um, I'm going to be the MC for um, a So Below event in Melbourne. And it's all about astrology, sigil magic, utilising astrology, jailbreaking astrology, magical goodness, right? And that's with um, uh, Gordon White and... Oh, Mr. Kopic. I can't remember his first name now. It just totally escaped me. That's mean. All right, so here is the artwork. I gotta get this in frame. So I'll bring it up close so you can have a look at it like from here and then I'll, I'll do like zoom or scroll it down. It's very detailed and very beautiful. Can I be in focus? Yeah, okay, let's do it that way. There we go. Isn't it just spectacular? There is something so, so incredibly mystical about seeing this symbolism, the wheel itself, it sort of tugs at an older part or a more ancient part of magic that I find is quite inherent with most people, with all people, not most. I shouldn't be so flippant with my language. I am attempting to refine my language. 
So let's see how I go. And then we have Mabon artwork. So we here in the Southern Hemisphere are going through Litha now. And so this is Mabon. We are approaching the thinning of the veil, the cross quarter Sabbath of Samhain and Beltane. So I will hold on to this one for March of next year, which is what I usually do. Okay, so we have this beautiful blue, inky blue, like, oh, like a like a night sky. Okay, so I'm running in danger here. I'm gonna have to shift some stuffs around. Okay, let's move you up just a scounch more, darling. There we go. Then I don't have to stress so much. Recycling the bubble wrap, and here we have it. Oh, look at how good it is. It's good. Okay, so we start off with the herbs. I don't get why <laughs> Australia Post opened up for inspection the witch's bounty, but not the witch's moon. Like to me, it should have happened the other way around because the witch's bounty doesn't have anywhere near as many botanicals, but I'm not complaining. I'd rather them open that one up than this one here because I could have done some damage. So we have the astral dance, which is this one here. Then we have compass weed, and then we have the St. John's wort. And so there we have it. I'll show you up individually one at a time. So there's the St. John's wort there. Here is the compass weed right here. And these are all dried and packaged. And there is the astral dance. So I want to smell this. Oh yes, I like it. Okay, look at all this gorgeous black cushioning. Oh, Luna, I'm digging the label on this sacred salt. Can we just look at the mixture? Oh, yum. Stop it with your awesomeness. Oh yeah, it's very strong. Um, oh, the underlying tone is chamomile, but it's got something else. It's extremely fragrant, perhaps the most fragrant I have smelt. Okay, we've got this little thing here. So I wonder which one this is. Oh, it could be the meteorite fragment. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let me see if I can... I don't want to cause shadow, but I do want to highlight it. There you go. Let me bring that up nice and close. And I'll flip it over. Look at it. It's so cool. It has to go... It has to sit with my Tektite and my Moldavite pieces. Because that is just, that's a little bit of something extra, like, oh, like that's, and it, and it opens, you can push it and open it. Apparently you're supposed to be able to, but I'm a bit gumby with these things, and as a nail biter I give myself no, oh, here we go. <gasps> I can open it, oh my gosh, I'm touching something so ancient. You have traveled the stars. Look at that. I'm sorry, look at that. You can almost divine in it. I see brooms. Anyone else see brooms? I'm gonna protect it. I'm gonna keep it in here. Okay, so let's continue on. I'm a bit blown away though, guys. Like how good would it be to just do these ones? Okay. So put that right in the center there and then like go about your business. Sprinkle some herbs around the outside, work with the cosmic astrological sigil, especially if you're potentially wanting to garner a smidge more uh, information or perhaps knowledge on astrology, then perhaps doing a nice little astrological spell would not be so bad. It's got glitter in it. Of course it's got glitter. It's supposed to be stardust right am I correct in assuming this here it is 
Sorry, I was keeping all that experience to myself there. Look at that, sparkly, sparkly. Bring it up nice and close. And it is called the Starry Whisper, Wisdom, Wisdom. I'm gonna smell it. It's nice. It's not as nice as some of the others I have smelled, but it is nice. I've never been disappointed with a scent. And so, more bubble wrap. That's exciting. What do we have here? We've got something here. As soon as I read things, I forget them. I'm terrible at retaining information, unfortunately. Oh, smoky quartz. All right, it's all coming back to me now. It's a very light colored smoky quartz piece, but it is a smoky nonetheless. Look at it. It's kind of like a bit of a generator, but it's, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm digging this. This is cool. Let's bring this up nice and close so you can have a look. So there is a depth of color to it. So you can see the stormy gray that is very typical and inherent of the smoky quartz. It's rough to the bottom and we see it doing its thing there, but it's got a natural point to it. And um, it's a bit rough and I love it. It's got a little rainbow in it. Let's do this. Oh, I can't wait to work with you, my love. Got another special friend. Oh, here is the incense. Oh, it smells so soapy. It's nice. It's really soapy. It's fresh. It's soapy. It's what I and what I want my kids to come out of the bath smelling like. And they do because we use all Lush products here in our household. Much to my husband's dismay. And I'm like, dude, it's Lush. Like, how can you not like that? And everyone smells incredible. I've got him on board, though with my Lush, <laughs> uh, what do they call it? Obsession. Oh, yes. Oh, it's black and I like it. Look at that. Oh, herby. Yeah, it still smells good. Look at that. Look at all these herbs down the bottom there. It looks amazing. Well, yes, you're going to go off to the side there and I'm going to be using you potentially shortly because... There's stuff. There's stuff that we must do. I'm going to put you in my kindling box. There we go. Okay, so here is the deck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So it's a low scarabeo. I have nothing to unlock this. <laughs> Let me see if I can use, I no longer have the things that I used. I'm going to break it. I don't want to break it. And I have no nails and I might not be able to. Uh, oh, let me see if I can be a bit, <laughs> a bit of a pyromaniac here. No, that was not enough. Apparently, I don't know what I'm doing. No, this is not going to work. That was a silly idea, folks, because I don't want to smell the plastic. My improv skills need a little work. My nails need to take a break from being bitten, poor darlings. What is your anxious relief? Would you believe I used to be a smoker? That's perhaps why I lean into nail biting. It's the whole bringing my hands to my mouth. Weird tangent to go on. So here we have it. I finally did it. Astrological Oracle. There's the inside. I feel like I need to do this. Who knew? Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little emerald green. So it's a very thin deck. Okay, so this looks like a very thick, thick book, but being that it is, yeah, so it's multilingual. Let's see how much of this book is. Oh no, we're already in Spanish there. Okay, there's 54 pages, 54 pages. So of this book, this much is for English speakers. 
there's some Spanish, there are some others, and then you have the multilingual portion. So together the book is quite substantial, but they do this whole multilingual business. More shrink wrap! I can't handle this. Oh gosh, I just wet my teeth. I don't know if I can actually open this one as well. Oh, it's like, what's behind? For the first challenge was like door number one, and I don't want this challenge. I need to bring with me some scissors into my space. I'm not complaining, I'm just, I'm having a wee bit of a whinge, actually. All right, so I managed with my teeth, like a barbarian. Okay, so we have Aries. That's the backing anyway. There we go, there's your backing. So we have Aries. No, that's the backing. Yes, that's the backing. That's the card. That's the card for Aries. Anyone would think I haven't done this before. And there we have Taurus. Gemini, they're glossy. And they're sticky. Gemini here. Cancer. Leo. Virgo. Libra. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Aquarius. Pisces. Sun. Moon. Mercury. Venus. Mars. Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and back to the beginning. So this was the Astrological Oracle, and who created this little deck? the authors, where's the creators? What do you get with the... What's going on here? Artwork by Antonella Castelli, Lunea Weatherstone. Okay, so Lunea Weatherstone created it. And there you have it! And that was the entire content of September's gorgeous moon box so I was very very excited to see the theme of this moon box I don't know if you guys were as excited as I was but I'm really interested I'm beginning to get more and more interested in astrology it's been a modality that has fascinated me for the longest time but I have steered very clear of it of really really learning it and integrating it into my practice simply because I am so involved in spirit work and tarot readings and while I know that it would be a delicious uh, you know accompaniment to my preferred mediums I also find that it is so all-encompassing that I didn't want to lose focus does that make sense but I do have Bwen's courses, which I'm stoked about. I have tons of books as well because I like to buy books and then like with the absolute intention, the best of intentions to read them and then just not. Just not and say we did. So there we have it. We have, this was the Celestial Wisdom. The Celestial Wisdom Moon Box by The Witch's Moon. Well, it is called a witch's moon box 
And, you know, just to go over it, we have some artwork over here too. And that's the two pieces of artwork here, which are beautiful. We have candle, we have oil. These are typical things to have. Salt, you will always get a salt in the witch's moon. You will always get one of their magical oils and they are different every time. They smell different every time. They are, look, I'll show you. Here, <laughs> I have a whole box of them and look at them. They are different. They are each different. How they keep coming up with such amazing blends, that is the standout favor. That's the, fr the Freya. And, and then you will get your candle, you will get your incense, you will get your herbs, you will get a crystal. And then beyond that, it blows your mind. Oh, an oracle card reading and one of these artworks. Now, typically you will get only one, but come time of a Sabbath, you tend to get one for the Sabbath and one for the box itself. So this honors the box, but this honors the Sabbath. And I think that that's very thoughtful. So you get a little something extra. And, uh, and yeah, some little incenses. This is a, this is an incense put together and, oh, just these little treasures. And, and they're constantly finding such amazing creations to put in their boxes. I'm just always so impressed and I feel very blessed to be able to unbox these beautiful magical boxes and share their magic with the world and just just revel in the deliciousness of this creation so there you have it beautiful souls i sincerely hope that you have enjoyed this i'd like to ask you a question in fact where are you with astrology like what does astrology mean to you where are you lacking? Where would you like to know more? All of those yummy things. I'd just like to know. I'm not intending on, on putting anything out there as far as teaching material goes because I'm a newbie when it comes to astrology. I'm pretty like basic. I mean, I know a little, but I don't know a lot. And there is a lot to astrology. So where are you? Like, how do you feel about astrology? That's perhaps the best way of asking that. So Leave your comments down below. Wishing you guys so much love, luck, peace, and joy. Just know I'm sending you oodles and oodles of love. We are in the season of the witch and it is an exciting time. So I sincerely hope from the bottom of my heart that wherever you are and whatever you're doing in the world, you are surrounded by magic. Mwah. Bye.